Hello guys, let's discuss this amazing set from CAD 2021, slot 1. This set is about distribution of number of friends, number of acquaintances and number of strangers of a particular person. Now it says A, B, C, D, E, F and G are 7 people in a town. Any pair of them could either be strangers, acquaintances or friends. All relationships are mutual. Now example is given. What's that example? It says if A is a friend of B, then B is also a friend of A. And if A is a stranger to B, then B is also a stranger to A. I hope this is clear. Parcel information about the number of friends, acquaintances and strangers of each of these people among them given in the table below. So this is the information which is already given in the question. This was the set given. Now following additional facts are known. So let's try solving this set. It says A, B and C are mutual friends. Okay. Let's start with this set. But can we figure out something before we start with this information? We know that there are seven people, right? And for each people, there are six people of which there will be some of them will be friends. Some of them will be acquaintances and some of them will be strangers. Can we say all of these number of friends plus number of acquaintances and number of strangers should be added up to six in each case because there are seven people removing one itself. Now we can proceed with this. It says A, B and C are mutual strangers. It means that for A, B and C are strangers. For B, A and C are strangers. And for C, A and B are strangers, right? Okay. Now, next it says A, D and F are E's friend. So, for E, we are going to put A, D and F in friends column. Now, as the relationship is mutual, can we say that for A, D and F, E will be friend? So, let's put E here. Let's put E here and in front of F, let's put E here also. Now next says C and G are friends. So for C, G is one of the friend. For G, C is one of the friend. Right. Next it says every friend of A is an acquaintance of B means number of friends of A will same as number of acquaintance of B, can we put E here as E is a friend of A, so E must be an acquaintance of B and every acquaintance of B is a friend of A. So similarly, it says statement in, in statement 5, every friend of B is an acquaintance of A and every acquaintance of A is a friend of B. So can we say whatever comes here will come here. And whatever comes in column of acquaintances for A will come here. So if number of acquaintances of A is 1, can we say number of friends for B will also be 1, right? So this is complete. Statement 4 and 5 we have taken. Now let's try completing this table, okay? As much possible, okay? Now where do we start? We can start with G. Why G? Because for G these numbers should be added up to 6. Now 2 is here, 3 is here, so 1 must be here. Miss G has only one friend who is C. Can we say for G this part is complete? Right? Now let's move on to A or B. Okay, we can start with any one. We know that A has four strangers, one acquaintances, so number of friends should also be one. All of these should be added up to six, right? For B, if number of acquaintances of A is one, we can see that number of friends is also one. And for A, if number of friends is one, then number of acquaintances of B will also be one. So this is also one. This is also complete, right? Now what's left? What's left here? Can we say that if number of friends for B is 1, it cannot be C because C is already there. It cannot be, it can be D. 
it can be d d is not there it can it cannot be e because e is already there f and g are also not possible because f has only one friend who is e and g has only one friend who is c can we say in case of friends the only friend we got is d so the for d we will we can also put b and this is done now can we say f and g will come a for strangers in case of b so you can see 4 plus 1 plus 1 this is also complete so for b we have all the information that we need right so this one is also completed this one is also completed now d is a friend of b can we say d must be an acquaintance of a so this one is complete this one is complete who could be strangers for a f and g only so we will put f and g here now if you put f and g here we must put a and b in stranger column for f and g right so this one is also completed now what about what about e and d have we taken everything for d b is an v is a friend for d a is an acquaintance so we will put a here let's put a here okay for e b is an acquaintance so we will put b here right now in case of g we can see that number of friends is already completed number of strangers is already completed what's left will come here which people are left so a b c is there it will be d e and f this one is also completed so in front of d e f we need to put g also so g will come here g will come here and g will come here now we can go to e we have three friends for e which is completed we have two acquaintances for e which is completed what's left a b c is not here can we say that c will be stranger to e c will be stranger to e means e will be stranger to c so we can also put it here this one is also completed right now now we can we can check d what's what's in d you can see that d has two friends d has two acquaintances and d has two strangers so this added up to 6 right so let's put what's left here a is here b is here c is not here f is not here so let's put c is here f is here right so in front of d we are putting c and f we will also have to put d in front of c and f right now you can see that for c we are done a b e d four here one here one here six is done right what's left we will put that here a b is here d is here e is here so f will come here so f is an acquaintance of c can we say c will be an acquaintance of f so let's put c here now in case of f you can see 3 plus 2 plus 1 it's done so now we are done with this table as you can see 4 will come here this is also done this is also done and this is also done so this table is completed right now we are ready to solve the questions let's solve these questions this is the table it says who are gotham's acquaintances so for gotham acquaintances are d e f we can directly mark the answer b right which of these pairs share the same type of relationship which of these pairs share the same type of relationship b and c what are b and c b and c are strangers d and e d and e are friends we won't mark option a what about b c and e c and d are strangers d and g d and g are not strangers option c a and g a and g are strangers e and f e and f are friends so 
option C is not correct. So we can directly mark option D without even checking this one. But let's check anyway. B and E. So B and E are acquaintances. F and G. F and G are acquaintances. Correct? Next is who is an acquaintance of A? Who is an acquaintance of A? So D is an acquaintance of A. Dinesh. Question number four, it says who is an acquaintance of C? So for C, acquaintance is F. So let's mark F here. Now rest two questions are theta. We will have to answer this. There will be a blank space where you can put the number, numerical value using the basic calculator given on screen. How many friends does E have? How many friends does E have? You can see we have number of friends for E is equal to 3. How many people are either a friend or a friend of a friend of E? We know that E has already three friends. And for A, E is a friend that won't be counted. For E, D is a friend, right? And for D, D is a friend, which is a new person. So there will be four and four F. F only friend is E. So total we will mark 4 here, 3 plus 1, 4. So I hope this set is clear to you. Put your feedback in the comments. Okay, I'll be coming more of these type of sets in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye.